This is a brain. It's the work of hundreds of scientists, thousands of volunteers, and a very special artificial intelligence. So let's dive into the mind of a fruit fly. You know, I'd spent 15 years of my career just trying to identify a few neurons, and then all of a sudden on this one day, they were just all there. Michael Gordon has been working with fruit flies for decades. Much of neuroscience has relied on watching for spikes of activity in the brains of genetically modified flies. We've come a long way using those methods, but fully understanding complex behaviors like flight was a pipe dream, until now. So what we're looking at here is a tiny piece of fly brain. So on the left is a 2D stack of all the uh, neurons, and AI take those images and transform them into 3D. So these are the images on the right, that is the neurons in 3D. As complex as this may look, it's just two neurons out of the almost 150,000 in the brain of a fruit fly. And it only gets more complicated when you look at how they're all connected. There are 50 million connections in the fruit fly brain. And that facilitates all the behaviors that a fly can do. Using a specialized AI and thousands of human proofreaders to check its work, researchers were able to map all of those connections. The end result, the most complex, complete connectome ever mapped. Our most useful full connectome was of the roundworm. It has 302 neurons. And now we've done the fly brain and it has about 140 some thousand neurons. So scaling up about 500 times. That jump is extraordinary, but it's not just the added complexity that makes this useful. It's the subject, the humble fruit fly, or Drosophila, has been crucial to neuroscience research for over a century. We used to spend years just looking for individual neurons that connect from one place to another, and now it's just all there for us. It's kind of like if you wanted to study the daily traffic patterns in Vancouver, but you didn't have a map, it would be a hard job, right? Because you could look for a street and then study how cars go up and down that street. But understanding how those cars end up downtown you don't really know, right, if you don't know what roads are connected together. And so that's what we have now in the Connectome. Making all this data publicly available is revolutionary. And you can zoom in and out if you want. And for researchers like Jingfen Li, who got early access, that future is already here. What was your first thought when you first saw this? I was super impressed because now my work is going to be a lot easier and a lot faster. And now we also have an excellent brain model that actually does a pretty good job at predicting behaviors. But as useful as fruit flies are, there's only so much you can learn from a model organism, which begs the question, how long until we map a human brain? It's at a level of complexity when we get into mammals and, and especially humans that is almost beyond comprehension. The fruit fly brain has about 50 million connections, called synapses, compared to the human brain, which has about 100 trillion. So it will be quite the leap. What we have here is sort of an intermediate step, right? And we can use that to build upon our knowledge to eventually get to the level of complexity of the human brain.